Hello. Hi, Suzanne. How y'all doing? Well, as you may know, we're into our first group showing up. We're going on the end of the first week. We're going to load them up today. Windows and doors and tin and some designs, some ideas, some dreams. It's an experiment. That means we're just seeing how it'll go. Finding out. Logistics. Is it possible? Could it be done? After all, it is a fantasy. Trying to make something out of nothingness. A pile of trash. Thank you for the coffee. Yes, I appreciate it. That gives me my source. I couldn't link it together. Hi, Alistair. Um, I'd love to tell you it's just a wonderful, wonderful morning with all sorts of wonderful, wonderful news. It's not. Um, the world is still not working out like everybody might want it to. There's probably um, 80 to 100,000 people right now that are suffering severely because of explosions in Papua New Guinea last night that just literally blew the windows out mile away from where it happened at. People wandering around, bloody, ears blown out. That's just one place. Nicaragua just had a gigantic blast. Gigantic. Volcano went off. Ecuador's had two of them. Indonesia, the biggest volcanoes in the world that have been dormant for hundreds of years, in some cases a thousand years, have just blown their tops off in a major glorious way. And people are dying. Lots and lots of people are dying. This is no longer fantasy I'm talking about here, guys. The sad part is all that volcanic ash that's going up in the air has got to come down someplace. And if you've done any study on this, if anybody's opened their eyes up to something other than a TV in a long time, this is not good. It's projected out. We know what's going to happen. All that ash goes up in the air. It depends on where it goes up, where it comes down, and what's under it. It doesn't happen. I've dug through it. That's what those canyons are. Layers and layers of volcanic ash. Now, I had hoped to get a lot of this stuff out to some people. I hope to be able to put something together and get some towns, some cities, some villages. And I say hope to this past tense. There's a reality I didn't take into account. Several of them. Amongst them is nobody got to see this. On YouTube, 58 people, 60 people saw any one of those. And guess what? You can't do it unless you saw them all. So people under all these wrongful impressions because they saw something somewhere that 350 words in an essay would get them everything they ever dreamed of. Just not that easy. That's the real world. And so it's like, well, we need more than that. We need names. We need what you're going to do. We need our, you know, kind of what your experience is. I don't want you to fail. I don't want to have a bunch of stuff just sent out. And that's if we can send it out. And that's if I don't want to load it all myself. I don't want to pull it all out myself. I don't want to do all the work myself because that wasn't the deal. Because I don't have that much time. This is only work if a bunch of people heard about it. A bunch of people got on board. A bunch of people want to help other people. And that's not the case. If people shared, talked about it, more people know about it. There'd be more people helping. There'd be some people even offering to help pay just to help people be here and load up and feed them and take care of them. Not a one. Not one. We need teachers. Why? One of the things we just learned, I'm not a 101 class teacher. I don't teach basic how to pick up a saw, how to measure. I don't teach it well. It's not my forte. And if it doesn't get taught to people that don't know how to do it, they can't do what I would want them to do. They're just going to take a bunch of stuff up there and watch it rot. Pile it up. Look at it. Talk about it. Sad. Sad. So what I want to see um, happen is what I want to see happen. That just had nothing to do with reality. I'm a fantasy character. Give away millions of dollars of stuff and offer it up. And guess what? 50 people hear about it and don't even share it. Don't talk about it. Don't even comment. Don't even comment. So, what are the avenues? How do you get it out there? I tried Rumble, Telegram, Twitter, Instagram. 
Facebook. Blech. But that's the resource I got in touch with y'all through. I spent 15 years that Brad worked on this and Darby's worked on this. I don't know how to do this. This is not my forte. I'm not a, I'm not a social platform networking kind of guy. In fact, frankly, I pray to God I never have to deal with 90% of you outside on the other side of this screen. I don't ever want to meet you. I don't ever want to know you. So why am I inviting people here? Why? Because all of you are part of me. I'm somehow tied to you, isn't I? Yeah. So I want to help. Those who want to help themselves and help others. I want to help them. I don't just want to help all people calling me. Oh, I want to go ahead and finish out this. I want to do that. I want to do this. And just for me. Well, what are you going to do for everybody else? Oh, no, no. I don't have time for anybody else. I got to do this for me. Oh, okay. Well, somebody's going to take care of you then. Somebody. Not me. Oh, and wait a second. I'm going to give up my time day after day after day to go out there, do all the labor, or loading it, picking it out, and teaching people what they didn't bother to learn, do their homework, didn't listen to all those videos that I made. So that you know, it's not a 350-word essay, and if you think it's going to be that easy, then you're not listening to the other stuff, and it tells me that. Because I hid all these little secrets, all these little issues you had to go overcome, all these things that you had to take care of, and all those little videos you had to tolerate. Listen to being truthful. Guess what? It didn't matter what I put in them. If nobody sees them, and nobody shares them, and nobody talks about it, then it can't happen. It's a fantasy. It's imagination. It's a story. And nothing more. Now. Thank you. All of you. The ones that listen, the ones that talk. There's a few of you still in the game. We've accepted some people. We're going to go ahead and follow through with that. But I haven't got that much time anymore, I guess. Because it's going to take a whole lot more time from all the things that I love doing. Walking, exercising, and the book I gotta finish. The rest of this, nobody's gonna read the book. Why am I worried? It's a sad social experiment. Why? Just look at the numbers. Somebody offers millions of dollars worth of stuff to save all the people you know who needed housing, needed a job, needed to do something with their life, and all that's out there. And somehow, nobody tells anybody. I got people on the far side of the world know more about it than Americans do. Put out a newsletter. 16,000 people get it. So, they got to read it. Oh my God, there's more than 700 words in it. The video is more than five minutes long. Oh my God, you just wandered off and all this other shit. I ain't gonna listen to that shit. Guess what? You're right. You won't. So, what I learned is I went back and looked at the statistics. How many one hour videos I did to have you know how to do this, what to do, logistics, how to plan it, how to pack it. You know what? Entire world, 800 hours of viewing time. Since Valentine's Day, when I put my heart out there for everybody and spent this month and my son passed away 10 years ago, trying to do something for his generation to give back to the parents who still got their kids, 25 years old, 35 years old, teach them something. Those parents didn't come. The relatives didn't show up, say, hey, I want to teach my grandson. What do we got to do? You need 15 grand to help load and train and get my son down there? I'll get him down there. He needs to do some work. He needs to learn something. Nah, not one. Guess what? It's okay. Why? <clears throat> I keep seeing 36 year old boys show up. Six foot four like my son. Six foot five. No skills. 25, 35 years old. I put a saw in their hand, they don't know how to saw. They don't know how to measure. They don't know plumbing, they don't know electric. They don't know anything. 30 years old, no skills, most of them. And the ones that do, they're so caught up in the lie, in the politics, in TV, in sports, 
They don't even know the volcanoes going off. They don't know there's all earthquakes. The worst, the worst we've ever experienced. 177 five plus earthquakes in a week, and they had to raise the gauge up to 99 and stopped. It's 177. Last time I checked, 178. You realize that's more major earthquakes in one week period than you have ever experienced in your entire lifetime of that caliber. And there's more volcanoes going off than you've ever experienced in your lifetime of that caliber. And guess what? The weather, it ain't going to work any better. It's going to get much, much worse. So is food. Much more expensive. And what are you all doing about it? Building tiny villages all over the place to help everybody out? No, hell no. On top of that double hell no. Not even inquiring about helping out your friends. And the ones that did want to do it, they had such a hard time trying to find somebody to help them out that's honest and decent that it's not even going to work. Why? Because I can look into that. I can see things. And so many people are doing it. They got a group. They got a bunch of people who want to go ahead and get together. Maybe there's a chance still. And I'm going to keep working on just some of those groups that are left. But let's not go into getting a lot of new submissions because we only got so much time to look at all this, to read all this, to review all this, and the bullshit sifted out of there. Spot the people who got no other interest in putting themselves in a nest, making money off of it, not contributing a dime to making it happen for anybody else. These are all things I'm looking for when I did this. What's the world out there? How are they going to receive it? Are they going to receive it? They're just going to look at it and go, oh, let's look at that shit. That's what they did. Now, what next? Well, some are going to get a chance to play at the dream. I'm definitely going to follow through with that, but I got a limited amount of time. It turns out that for me to teach people what they got to learn to do this, the ones that want to participate, without teachers, without other people volunteering to get involved, involved in, at all levels, it ain't going to happen. It was going to take everybody getting involved. I thought, wow, we're going to get out there and have a bunch of people get involved. Yeah. So, I'm getting on here. If we go over there to load up today, we're getting loaded up those first people and I'm trying to get them to take as much as they can because it's a hard spot getting over here. Hard spot's getting away from your place. So when you come in, you want to design and, and plan your load to get as many houses. We're using metal for the outside walls and even ceilings because you can cover fast. You can get your houses built. You can get an income going to help support your place. You can get more people living there. It's how fast can you build it, how cute can you build it. And everybody's looking at how much can I get instead. A lot of them are just looking at I want to do this one for me and I want to do it for my homestead and I can't leave and I can't come help you out. I can't do anything for it. I can't even come here and learn how to do it right. I just want to come there and get it and leave. Can you do that for me? Because I'm not going to go load it all. I'm not going to pull it out. I'm not going to be the only one training everybody because I don't do it too good. I'm, not, I'm a lousy teacher, guys. I'm a lousy, lousy teacher. So, short and sweet. First million's probably committed. There's a few people that I'm holding out for on board. If they don't happen, it don't happen. As far as additional entries, there's a couple people in progress. It's not a 350 word essay. If you didn't watch all the videos to know that you got to have the members of the team ability to me to see them, to know that you got somebody else other than your imagination going to do it. Because what I'm seeing is the people with the imagination, they don't have any history, they don't have any money, they don't have any means, they can't even buy the nails and screws, they don't have the tools. A lot of them don't even have the land. And so you got to get together and they can't do that. Everybody wants to do it alone. Can't make friends. Can't quit their drugs. Can't find friends that aren't on drugs. It's sad, but it's reality out there in your world. So having dipped from the world of fantasy news and fantasy out into your world, having gone ahead and talked to everybody about Wibbley and Wub, which nobody gives really a crap about out in the world. We found that out. I put that out too. Put a newsletter out all over the world. Put this out there that way. Offer millions of dollars. People just listen, look, and wonder and say something about it. Comment. Buy an attention. One thing is when you're shadow banned, censored, castrated virtually, and then you don't get the assistance to get it out there on top of that. Well, they ain't worth it. Nah. Why? For what? Would you do that? No. I mean, this is the beautiful part about it. 
there's an expectation that the person giving keeps giving and gives more. There's no expectation that people receiving are going to get help from their side because everybody they talk to doesn't seem to want to help them. They say they do, but they don't do it. There's no elders out there. There's no corporation. There's no bank. There is not a single person has ever contributed any money to make this accessible to the public. There's no patents on all the stairs that have been designed. Brad designed some beautiful stairwells, storage stairwells, all that kind of stuff. There's no patents on that. That's all put out there as open source. Anybody can use it. Do they? No. So, why? Why? Why would you tie up all your life hours for people that are ingrates for the most part? Don't give a shit. In fact, they think you're crazy. Why? Good question to ask yourself if you ever think about giving away your time, your money, your life hours, your knowledge, your wisdom. Just give it away. In fact, ultimately, you actually have to pay to give it away. Because you got to pay for the time. Electric. I don't see anybody else doing that. They don't even give their time to hell. Time. Valuable, isn't it? So, I want to wish you all a super cool, wonderful day. I want you to go ahead and look at the rest of the world and appreciate what you've got. Understand the suffering that's going on all over the world and you don't even know. Not to mention, don't give a shit. I got things to do. I got my mask. I got to get a new mask today with something new written on it. Something match my shirt. I got to conform and be part of the system. I got to go get my vaccine. Oh, God, please, please. Are you going to take off the mask today and kiss your wife, your child? You guys keep on going. You have fun out there. Keep your masks on. Take your vaccines. Stay in your big-ass old houses and wait for your unemployment to run out. Wait for that 1400 check and... And all sorts of surprises you're going to see come this month that you never imagined in your lifetime you'd see because you're going to see them. The problem is we're rapidly at that point that's called too late. You know what too late is? That's when the door of opportunity went way past you and you missed it. You know, what? How did I miss that? Because you procrastinated. Because you didn't do shit to help anybody you knew. Who could have done something, but everybody wanted to keep it to themselves, keep it, I don't know what they wanted, because actually not enough people saw it to actually do any good. If this video gets seen by a thousand people, in the entire world of seven billion people, that will be quite the stunt. Isn't that crazy? You try to give away millions of dollars and not even 1,000 people will hear about it. There's more important things. They keep sending you know, games you can play on, online. Do you know that? You, you can stay busy all the time playing games. You can watch TV. You can hide in your house and read. Yeah, that's good. Read. Read literature. I'm not going to write a book because ain't going to be reading it. And if there's not nobody reading it, why write it? Right. So... I put out some cartoons, I put out some stories, I put out a bunch of information that could make a big difference if anybody gave a shit. Yeah. But since that's not really the case, there are just a few. And I'm actually not at the point that we're going to be able to make it. It's going too fast now. So, just so everybody knows, let's watch and see how these kids do. The ones that have already approved, if they make it here, if they get here, if they pull it together, if they take the stuff away, if they use it other than piling it up, this is all going to be what we're going to watch. But as far as the second million and the third million worth of materials, that's not, I ain't got the time. I can't even look through and stomach some of the people that want stuff for nothing and want to do nothing with society even say that I just want to go find myself a spot build myself a house and I don't want to be around no people I don't want to help nobody out okay you go find the stuff and do that the idea is to build some community in case you might need help I know that's a crazy thing man you got government take care of that 
He lied. So, kids, friends, God bless you. I love you. I'll be back. Not so often. What's the point? 50 people see it. You guys are doing fine. Take care.